about network, uh, it deals with type of connection. We have to know type of connection for a network. So two possible types of connections. We have point to point, multi point. Okay, two types of possible connection, point to point and multi point. So point to point provides a dedicated link between two devices, meaning that one link is shared only by two devices, not more than two. Multi point when more than two specific devices share a single link. Okay, we refer to the figure. Okay, this is point to point. Point to point means only two devices share a link. Multi point means more than two devices can be three, four, five, and so on share a single link. Okay, so the sharing can be divided into two, either spatially or temporally. Spatially means several devices use the link simultaneously. Temporally means the users must take turn. Okay, for example, for spatially, if the link is shared by five devices and the speed is 100 megabit per second, so the 100 megabit per second speed must be divided into five. So uh, each device can get only 20 megabit per second if they use spatially uh, multipoint connection, meaning that uh, they have to share the total speed or total bandwidth. Okay, 100 megabit per second should be shared by five devices if we have five. Okay, compared to temporally, if you have uh, 100 megabit per second, bandwidth if we use multi-point temporally and we have five devices sharing a single link each user can have or can take 100 megabit per second full in total because they take turn in using the link okay so that is the difference between spatially and temporally okay next we move to network topology so, of course, when we are talking about network, we have type of connection and uh, the connection is related to the topology. So, for the topology, we have four types of topologies, uh, mesh, star, bus, and ring. So, what is important for you to know is the advantages and disadvantages for each topology. So, we try to see the first one. The first one is mesh topology. This is how uh, mesh topology looks like. Okay, so each device has a dedicated point to point link to every other device. Okay, so uh, setiap satu device hanya ada satu connection dengan device yang lain. Okay, tidak dikongsi lebih daripada dua device. Okay, so the advantages for mesh topology eliminating traffic problems because each connection carries its own data load. Okay, for example, this station, the one at the top, is communicating with this one, uh, with the station on the right. Okay, so the communication won't affect the communication of this uh, station or other station because they use their own point-to-point uh, -point link. Okay, robustness. If one links, if one link fails, it does not incapacitate the whole system. Let's say satu kabel terputus, hanya uh, communication antara dua device sahaja yang akan affected. Okay. The communication of other devices won't be affected. So that is what we call robustness. Okay. And then privacy or security, only the intended recipient sees the message because they use a uh, point-to-point -point link. So only the two devices, communicating devices, can see the message. And of course, easy for identification. If let's say uh, the user uh, complain to the network admin, he or she cannot uh, assess the message from certain sender. So, the, the network admin or the technician can uh, check 
directly the affected link. Okay, hanya link yang terlibat sahaja. Okay, without having to check all the links in the network. Okay, so mesh topology still have uh, its own disadvantages. Of course, when every device has a point-to-point -point link to other device, it needs for large amount of cabling and the number of input-output port required. Okay, so when we need a large number of input-output port, we need for expensive hardware. Okay, for example, if you see in this uh, figure, okay, in a network of five, one, two, three, four, five, each station or each device needs four ports. Okay, empat port untuk uh, masukkan kabel untuk menghubungkan dengan uh, station yang lain. Okay, then wiring can be greater than available space. You can imagine this uh, for this network, okay, of five, we need how many cables, okay, you can calculate. For five, we need uh, 10 cables. So you can imagine if you have, uh, you have 30 stations, 30 pieces in a lab, okay, how many cables would be needed, okay, for a mesh topology so the wiring can be greater than available space walls ceiling floors can accommodate and of course when we have a lot of cabling uh, it is difficult to install and reconnect okay for, uh, for mesh topology we have uh, one formula okay i will show you the formula on how to calculate number of cables needed for the mesh topology Okay, so for each topology, uh, we need to know how to calculate total number of cable. Total number of cables needed. Okay, and number of ports. Okay, so for mesh topology, total number of cables needed in a mesh topology, we can use the formula N times n minus 1 divided by 2. So n is the total number of devices in the mesh topology. Okay. So let's say If n equal, if we have ten devices in a mesh topology, okay, n equal to ten, so total cables needed equal to ten times ten minus one divided by two, so equal to forty five. Okay, next formula that you have to know is total port needed at each device okay equal to n minus 1 so if we refer back to our figure okay okay if we have five uh, devices in a network so each device need four ports okay five minus one equal to So this is these are two formula that you need to know for mesh.